Hello, my name is Deb and I work at the Residential Tenancies Authority, or RTA for short. This video is part of a series about renting in Queensland for students. This may be your first time living independently or living in Australia, and we want to help set you up for success. In this first video, we'll cover things to know before you start renting, and also your responsibilities and your rights when renting. You can watch our other videos for more detailed information about the other stages of renting. Before we get started, I'd like to acknowledge the traditional owners of this country, and I pay my respects to Elders past, present and emerging. First, I'll cover what we do at the RTA and how we can help you. In Australia, each state and territory has its own rules for renting, and we are the independent government authority for Queensland. We're here to help you and everyone involved in a tenancy. So this means we help people who rent a property. These are called tenants or residents. And we also help people who own or manage a property. These could be private landlords, real estate agents, rooming accommodation managers, or other housing providers. Now that we've covered who we help, how do we help? Firstly, we hold and manage all the rental bonds during a tenancy. We provide free tenancy information and education like this video and our contact centre. We offer a free dispute resolution service and we investigate if someone has allegedly breached the laws or legislation. The legislation that we work with is the Residential Tenancies and Rooming Accommodation Act. This act covers the rules for when you rent, whether it's a house, unit, flat, townhouse, a caravan, a room in a boarding house or a room in student accommodation. There are a few things that we do not cover, such as holiday lets, border or lodger situations, homestay arrangements and on-campus student accommodation. You can still keep watching this webinar if you're in one of these other arrangements, as there may be some useful tips for you anyway. If you need help understanding the difference between some of these types of rental arrangements, you can call our contact centre. I'll provide the number later. Now that we've covered the role of the RTA, I'll give an overview of the stages of renting. Remember, this video will focus on the stage before you rent. You can watch our other videos to learn more about the other stages. In this first stage, you'll be thinking about where you are going to rent who you will rent with, and what's required. Some of the questions to think about are, where do you want to live? Is it close to transport, shops, or the place you are studying? What type of property do you want to live in? This usually comes down to what you can afford. However, remember, if you rent a whole house, you may have a lawn to mow or gardens to look after. If you look at renting a unit, you may have to share some facilities or consider neighbours close by. If you're looking to compare rental costs for the type and location of a property, you can use our median rent quick finder on the RTA website. You should also think about what other costs are involved. Do you need to connect and pay for electricity, gas or internet? In some circumstances, you may also have to pay for water. Some of you may be eligible for rent assistance from Centrelink or for a rental bond loan from the Queensland Government. You'll find more information about this from an internet search. You also want to consider who you will live with. Will you share with others or live by yourself? When sharing with others, you need to ensure you put some house rules in place. It's a good idea for your rules to include a plan for what will happen if it doesn't all work out. Think about any consequences for not following the rules and a plan for what happens if someone moves out early. You also need to think about when you will move in and how long you will stay. Remember to check the end date of any agreement in case it's after your course ends or after your time in Australia. Before you rent, there'll usually be an application process. Our legislation does not cover the tenancy application and selection process. However, we do have some tips for applying for a rental property on our website. In the application process, landlords and agents need to comply with laws about privacy and anti-discrimination. 
the landlord or agent should be looking at two main factors. Firstly, your ability to care for and maintain the property. And secondly, your ability to pay and afford the rent. At the moment, there's a very tight rental market in Queensland, along with many other states in Australia. We encourage you to be prepared for the application process so you can move quickly if you find something you like. Your landlord or agent may ask for references and proof of income. They may also ask for photo identification. It's okay to give them a copy of your passport, photo ID or driver's license. However, keep your actual passport or other ID safe for yourself. It is your ID and not for the landlord or the agent to keep. When you are looking to apply for properties, be aware of scammers. Always view the property if you can. If it's too good to be true, it probably is. Before you provide your personal details in an application, check the credentials of the personal business so that you can confirm that they are legitimate. The agent or owner must give you a copy copy of the proposed agreement before you sign or pay any money to commit to the tenancy. If you're sharing a property, check what type of arrangement is in place. If you sign a lease with another person, you could be co-tenants, which means you're jointly responsible. Or if you move into an existing share house, you need to check if you are being added as a co-tenant or if you are an approved occupant. Check our website to learn more and call if you have questions. Before you sign an agreement, check the method of paying rent and if there are any associated charges for paying. For example, some third-party platforms may charge a dollar fee or a percent fee per transaction, and this can add up to hundreds of dollars over a tenancy. Before you start a tenancy, it's good to understand that everyone involved in a tenancy has rights and responsibilities. Some properties may be new and have extra facilities, and some may be older and therefore cheaper. However, landlords and agents need to ensure all properties are clean and fit to live in, and they should also comply with the local council laws. There are also specific minimum housing standards that will start from the 1st of September 2023 for all new tenancies. From the 1st of September 2024, the minimum housing standards will apply to all tenancies. So back to your current rights when renting. Your landlord or agent must make sure your room or property is secure they must attend to repairs and they must tell you before you before they enter. They must lodge any bond money you pay them with the RTA. They may enter the room or property for repairs or for a routine inspection. This is a check that you are looking after the place. However, they must give you notice before they enter and it must be in writing unless you agree to the entry another way. For example, if you agree by phone or email. There's more detail on our website about when they can enter and why they can enter. To get your bond back at the end of the agreement, you need to make sure of two things. First, make sure there's no money outstanding at the end of the tenancy. So for example, make sure you don't owe any rent or bill payments. Second, Make sure the room or property is in the same condition it was at the start, less fair wear and tear. This means there is no cleaning to do or damage to fix. We'll go into more detail about this in our video on ending a tenancy. As a tenant, you have responsibilities which we've summarised on the screen. You need to pay rent on time. If you fall behind, this is called paying in arrears for the week or two that has passed already and this can put your tenancy at risk. You need to keep the property clean and tidy. This includes indoor and outdoor areas. If you decide to share with others, it's a good idea to have a cleaning roster so you can all contribute to looking after the place. You need to consider your neighbours. By that, we mean avoiding loud parties and loud music. If you invite people to your place, you're responsible for them if they break something or spill something. It will be up to you to ensure it is fixed. If something is not working or if it breaks when you use it, you need to let the landlord or agent know. 
This might be something like a leaking tap or if your stove doesn't work or if there's problems with the key in the lock. The landlord or agent must organise the repairs. As I've mentioned throughout this webinar, the RTA website has a lot of information, including videos, podcasts and publications, as well as our bond lodgement and refund process. The RTA is here to help you. So please reach out to us if you need help understanding your rights and responsibilities, or if we can help with other services.